when I see you, I don't know who is Penin, I don't know who is Kakra. Is this Penin, is this Kakra? Why are you here to confuse me in this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Or maybe I should try singing for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, that's a good try. <laughs> Happy birthday. You turn 40. Yeah. Hey, life begins at 40. But tell you your life you start longest. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you this morning? I'm oh, very doing well. great. Oh dear. I'm excited to have you and uh, it's an honor. I want to know the nap nap story. I want to know you. Uh yeah, so on the plug segment we, we get personal with personalities who touch us our lives and uh, you know we get to learn a lot from them. Uh Penin and Kakra. I still don't know who Penin and Kakra is. Would you help me out? <laughs> it's quite it's quite unfortunate that people still don't know the difference. But anyway, it's it's like that. Are you Penin? I'm Penin. <laughs> 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 wow, wow, wow. I need to know the difference from today. No mistakes, Ejiba. Get, get, get it right. Ejiba, you can, um, you can only know that when the two of us are standing very close, uh-huh. I'm a bit taller than Kakra. That as is for today, that I admit that that is that is that is. As today for today, admit, you admit. Yes, as for today, I admit. <laughs> that is that is the only time you get to know. But if oh, not, um, even the way we talk on phone, or sometimes we pick phone and then you'll be like, you're talking to the wrong person. Yeah. Yes. So I only identify you with the name I've saved your contact on my phone. But when I see you, I'm always like, ah, is it pain I'm seeing? Is it cracker I'm seeing? Anyway, are you from Cape Coast? Are you here? Are you, you know, indigenous of this town? Yes, we we'll say we're indigenous of this town. We're mm. born, bred in Cape Coast, yeah. Wow. At the side of coast. Oh, uh, I at see. The side of Cape Coast. Our father is a crapim, though, but um, our mom is a fancy. So. Oh, okay. Charlie, you grow full, you grow full, you grow full. Typical at the side, I see. So let's let's do a little bit throwback about growing up yeah. in Cape Coast. As what we will go, I'm from Frafra. It's it's, yeah. a, it's a Cape Coast conversation, and see, not then what we want. Him from what's his name? No, mommy to him. Is it all about at the side or what's not to be be Yeah, what we want at the side. Hmm. Yet yeah, the saddle growing up, yeah, bad school or um there was a school there. And then from there we went to uh is E J P Brown. Mm. Uh, and then um from there to Bakati. Our mom was a teacher, so whenever oh, she okay. goes on transfer we follow up. So we stayed in Brafoyo, stayed in Mori, and then came back to Cape Coast again and then uh, through tertiary polytechnic secondary school we went to takradi so most of our, our life has been in cape coast wow most of the life has been yeah, about 90 percent of 90 percent has been in cape coast i see yeah. i see so let's talk about uh education like you, you said you ended up at takradi and did your polytechnic there or cape coast yeah yeah so what was your specialty what did you study uh, we did agriculture we studied ag- agriculture both of us <laughs> you did ag- agriculture yeah, so now uh, we, tell we, me do twins always think alike or you have different because you seem to be doing everything together you sat in the same class you move all the time yes. you're doing the same things together yes. you're sometimes wearing the same cloth wearing the same uh, course, like yes. <laughs> 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 well if, if if i may say something um it happened that uh growing up together he's been my best friend and everything um i think i, I shared a story with a friend some time back that when we were growing, we had one container that he and I were saving in it. Oh. And um, if we want to buy something, let's say chalote, you know, those days, bluebird chalote, <laughs> if, if we want to buy, we didn't want to worry our mother because yes. she was a single parent. And it happened that we would save money and buy one for one person. And always it's my twin brother that will make sure that we get the first for him because he's the penguin. Mm-hmm. So we we'll save money and we'll oh, buy okay. for him. Oh, okay. So the respect is always there, Charlie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. For that one. And <laughs> for that one. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. So we'll buy for him. Then we'll save again before we buy for myself. Um, growing up together, we used one towel, one sponge, one bag. Wow. We didn't have separate dresses. All our things were in one bag and we're wearing everything together. Y- you won't believe that we even <laughs> used one mobile phone when, when we started. So uh, it was fun that did you did you ever have a crush on a woman like that? You need to tell me that secret. Uh, I know you are married with men. Okay, but so so what I think we did. Mm-hmm. We did. But then uh, we have this kind of understanding between the two of us that 
if if you want, I want. We <laughs> deliberate and then you take over. It, it's, Tell it's me what happened like to that sister. Oh, so uh, one had to take over. Oh no. Yes, and then eventually. <laughs> Did they even make you out? <laughs> oh yeah, people do make yes, us out. <laughs> <laughs> but for the first time, if you meet us, it will be difficult for you to make us out. Do you know that this thing happened to Chris Agri's wife? Really? Yeah. Yes. Intercrady. Intercrady. It was quite funny. <laughs> we 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 knew her in Cape Coast here. She was at Ola Borden, and okay. we were at Bakati. Then we all happened to meet ourselves in Takrade. So one inter school's uh, spouse, I was talking to her, and unfortunately, Kakra appeared. Hey! And then she screamed and started yeah. running away. Started running away. <laughs> <laughs> On 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 this same stretch, I was walking and I spoke to one lady. We we're just vibing, was nice. Not when she knew Kakra, but mm-hmm. I didn't know her. So when we met, we we're just talking nice. I see um Kakra. Mm-hmm. And then Kakra appeared and then ran away. And even <laughs> business wise, I'm just thinking that people will, you know, mis- mistaking you two for like I, I just spoke to this man. Ah, oh yeah, one on yeah. It does happen. It does happen. It does happen. Mm. Yeah. I see. Anyway, if you didn't know, it is Nanaja Kumping and Kakra I'm talking to this morning on Asasi Radio. Uh, so you did agriculture. And see, after school schooling with agriculture, what was the options for you? Where did you work? What, what were some of the things you did? Okay. From um from school, from the secondary school, uh, we had the privilege to go to Aswanse Farms. So that is where we did more of practicals on their farming. So we did cut across on all agriculture basics. So from Aswansi Farms, we started doing poultry. So our name actually changed to Interfana Wanya Yeah. <laughs> okay, like post the, yes, okay, yeah. Coast, you know. Hey, you Coast, you try well. to attach your business to your name. So it was quite fun. And then it was through to 226, 206. Hmm. That was when bird flu came. So business was very slow. And then we had to uh, slow down with poultry business. But the decor actually came in. I was just about asking you. <laughs> you know, I want us to get that story. Okay. Into, like you guys were. Yes. 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 This morning but so tell me as you were doing the agriculture side of your life and uh, who brought up that idea of Talele and Deco and uh, how did that story begin okay so with the Deco aspect that was way back in 1999 early part of 2000 mm. our mom my our mom was a teacher uh, she is now on retirement now so like uh, she used to go to Accra those times it was Accra that do this decor and stuff like that so she used to go to Accra to learn decoration balloon decor and stuff so anytime she comes back and uh there is something like birthday parties or anything that she's doing mm-hmm. we'll be helping her mm. and we were calling ourselves her apprentice so mom started mom yeah. started and you started. were seeing how she goes about it like yeah, exactly. every day oh for a person mom yes. uh, who balloon the ribbon and the balloon, her. blowing balloons with ah, mark. exactly <laughs> i see so um she started it and you know um it happened that we did one birthday party for our grandmother mrs sansen she's in us okay so after one mrs akumensa she's late mm-hmm she used to stay along Iskafan Bantam Road. That's my hood. Exactly. Yes. That's where I grew up too. Yeah. Mm. That's Ekwabaka's mother. Ekwabaka's yes, mother. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. She was the one Mainsa's we were renting. Flat. Yeah, exactly. flat. Okay. She was the one we were renting things from. Mm. And the woman really made a lot of impact in us. Anytime we go there to do rentals, she would sit us down and advise us. As Wayam being fear wearing in me, be a word for be a one so many yay. One yen yay. And you know, when you go before you even leave, she will teach you one or two things before. Yeah. How to arrange flies and stuff like that. that. She so has that, yeah. we started doing birthday parties and those times, you know, it was for free. Mm-hmm. We just took fun of helping and doing these things like that. So when the, when bed flu came in and poultry business went down, P was in Polytechnic then. Mm-hmm. No, he had completed and he was doing his service in the Eastern region. So I w- had to go to school because I wasn't doing the poultry farm again. 
So I went to school with the notion of going to read marketing and then come back and use it for my own business. Okay. So, when so even as much as you were doing a grade, you knew that you want to do your own business. Like you wanted to be your own boss. Yes. Um, mm. Growing up, my twin brother and I always wanted to create our own world. Okay. We wanted to create our own home. How we want to treat our wives, how we want to treat our kids, how we want to grow our business, like how we want to build our own world. Mm -hmm. Yes. So going to school, I knew that I was going to learn marketing and come and use it for my own business. And the business was poetry then. Okay. Though it was slow, but then I was going and come back to um, come out with new strategies to sell my product. Mm. So when I went to school, then we started with uh, Miss C. Polly. Oh, okay. Those times. And a very good friend of ours, um, his name is Tony. He was handling those um, decor stuff. So I used to help him out. So along the line, there were one or two hitches and I, the school had to call me to be handling these things and stuff like that. Oh, the at school time, saw how good you were exactly. at that time. Yes. Mm. At that time, my twin brother was out of Cape Coast. So anytime... This, this is the side of my story. He has his. <laughs> 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 so uh, anytime maybe I get big gig and I know that I need his assistance, I'll just call him Charlie. Iribo until weekend. Yenabra. Then he will come over. Then he will come and assist me. Along the line, um, I was also assisting the catering department with how to arrange flowers and stuff on campus. So ah, so listen. Did it get to that height? You were helping mom. You hadn't gone for any special training no. with Deco. No. But you still had the eye to see how to arrange, you know, plates. Did you go on the internet? Were you using YouTube like people are doing? Were you doing a search or anything? It was just coming naturally. I've never done that before. Interesting. Yes. You know, one thing is if you have passion for something and you have flair for it, it comes easy. And it's easy for you to identify stuff. It's easy for you to, you know, you look at other people's work and it's easy for you to identify how they went about setting up. Mm. So that's how come these things came up. And then um, from the Polytechnic, you know, their course staffs happened. And after I was posted to the Northern region. Mm. Oh, I so you went there. to the Northern region? Yeah, I went to the Northern region. I, I went see. there on two, three occasions. As what? As a teacher. A teacher? Yeah. Which school was that? Uh, Yonduni MA Primary. Amazing. Yes, uh, behind <laughs> Kamina Barracks. Interesting. And uh, you can imagine that national uh, service personnel moving from... I'm looking at, you know, how cute you are and then <laughs> just, you know, with your students. <laughs> hey, good morning, students. How are you doing? <laughs> hey! Yeah. Sir, Sir yeah. So how are they calling you? Oh well, I d I didn't spend much time with them <laughs> because uh, as at that time business with the decor was you know coming up. Where? So uh, before I even went to the north, I'll make sure I have enough money with me <laughs> before I go to the north. So I was just having fun in the north, okay. and then along the night I, I stopped the national service and came back to do voluntary one here in Cape Coast before I got my um, cert certificate. Yeah. Oh, amazing. So, if you're listening to these duo, I mean, this is their story. Hmm. No special training, but they had the eye to decorate. And they were doing amazing things, you know, just all by themselves. I find this very intriguing. So, I mean, let me tell me about how you started buying, you know, the things you need for the work. Because I know it's quite an expensive venture. How are you able to, okay, we we'll need these chairs, we we'll need a vehicle because we'll be going somewhere. We How did it start? This one, I'll pick it up. Mm. Um, if, if I would say much about these things, uh, along the line, Payne was also in Accra helping our auntie who was into deco. Okay. So Payne was having more of detailed setups than myself here in Cape Coast. So it got to a time that I told him that Charlie... Brand and your business in boom. Yeah, yeah. We we do it together, but then we wanted to settle. But Payne had a job with Tonatan.com. Okay. Yes. And um I think six months or seven months later, yeah. I also joined him in Tonatan.com. <laughs> and it was funny the day I went for interview. I wore his suit. Okay. And the same suit that he wore 
for his interview. That was what I wore. <laughs> so the day I went for the interview, he was on the field working. And our boss called him, Masa, where are you? And he said, Sir, I'm out to work. And he said, Hey, <laughs> you two are confused. You know, when I went to the head office, the whole staff came out looking at me. They thought it was him. Mm-hmm. But I told them, no, 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 no. So I'm he never twin. told the, the people that he's a twin. They got to know on that day you went for the interview. For that one, unless he answered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, they actually know that I'm a twin. Okay. But they, they never saw my twin brother oh. until the interview day. That's so nice. even the country head was so confused, called me to put on my Google locations and all that <laughs> just to make sure that it is you. It is me and not uh, it is me on the field and not me sitting in front of all of them <laughs> it was quite funny yes and you won't believe um we had to use one photo um passport picture for our id card because they didn't even know the difference <laughs> you're giving yourselves up on this chat <laughs> <laughs> oh for now we've said a lot of things so oh if we're goodness. using we used one um license um, license for a number of years before, before oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes yes, yes, yes. Wow, and you see how fun. I'm calling you Confucianist? <laughs> you people are brutal. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So wow. coming back to um, how we were purchasing items, um, it was through P. Mm. P established a lot of contact in Accra. Okay. And it happened that, uh, you know, I would say we are very serviceable. So through that, people loved him. And when we decided to established napnak actually we have come up with so many names before we settled on, on napnak. napnak yes and even before then in tafuna where decoration you know also yeah. came in <laughs> apart from um, so um i was afraid i'm someone that before i make any decision i take a very calculated steps but my twin brother will always push you he'll be like massa so he's the pusher exactly mm. massa Business behind your own fear, business behind your woman, my one bear risk. Mm-hmm. Let's go and buy it. You know, at times you can be given a task that yourself you know that Charlie is or Sumo Moon, but my twin brother will tell you that ah, nah, no, yeah, we can also do it. And at the end, we execute it. So, buying stuffs, chairs, flies to date most of stars he's the one who um handles them he will just go and see and tell you that okay me and at times he will even order them before he tell you hmm. mm-hmm. and that's how come we've got stars interesting we are live on facebook as i see 100.3 kept because i mean uh, we are just uh streaming alongside some of the beautiful works that nap nap events has done putting kept on on the map i always say uh, so tell me about you know the first institution that gave you a very big job to do and before you do that can you mention some of the institutions in cape coast you've worked with we'll go elsewhere but in cape coast uh, in cape coast here um let me say for now we are even the corporate um the core people for um ucc okay with we, with as i say i mm-hmm. mean it's always been with as i say rich royal <laughs> uh, we've done a lot of things and then we handled ghana 66 i was going uh, to come no, to ghana, that ghana, ghana 65 yes yeah, 65 ghana 65 mm. we handled and then um, officially we handled the regional office mm. and mostly when the president is coming to cape coast yes we happen to handle most of them Charlie, these people they are super yes. connected though. you have no idea see, we always say this and we tell people as man think it so you see mm. we told ourselves we're going to make it we told ourselves that there is nothing like a big fish in cape coast that would come that we are not going to take our part even if the job is not ours mm. there's been a lot of um, occasions or um, programs that they've done in cape coast here they brought all the vendors from accra but you can't get to Cape Coast and move out of Cape Coast without Napna getting their token. Yeah. So is it that you rent one or two from us and we are grateful? Okay. So from doing, they do rentals too. That is what I'm picking from your, your sure. words, right? Mm. <laughs> so you, you are a one-stop shop. A pure and pure. Kakrababa. Yes. Exactly. Wow. That is a very good, you know, strategic, you know, positioning in the industry. And it's a thumbs up for you. And don't tell me about that that biggest job that you did. Will you say it's Ghana at sixty five? Oh, we did um, lawyer Drew's son's wedding. Wedding years back, we've done 
lot of lot of people i know i know when it comes to weddings like i give it to you when it comes to Thank weddings you. and that is where as i said here yeah, people are sending me messages say happy birthday to them say happy birthday and a number of people are sending me messages you have really you know touched people's weddings you know that touch of class that touch of you know elegance that's the word did you learn anything about weddings at all okay so um we happen to have ourselves to be part of the event vendors association of ghana mm. of which uh, we've even introduced that to a lot of vendors in Cape Coast to join the association because it's a very big platform where we find ourselves and then we learn a lot from them. Mm. They bring people all the way from the international across board okay. to come and train. So we go for conferences. That was where we went and we won the award. Mm. Yes. Huh. So we, we've learned a lot from that association as well. Interesting. Interesting. So, I mean... <clears throat> I asked them all, is it difficult to work in Cape Coast? If you want to do a comparison, Cape Coast and elsewhere. I want us to know some of the places you've worked so that we can do some comparison. Apart from Cape Coast, I know you do events in Accra as well. Sure. Yes. Where else? Eastern? Oh, we travel. Okay, Kalapuz, so Ghana. Kumasi. I went with you to Kumasi, yes. Yes. Ghana Chieftains Awards. Awards, yeah. Yes. Uh, we've been to Kumasi. We've been to Bebieni. We've been to uh, Lubo. Um, actually... He brought up that contract. <laughs> <laughs> so we've worked with Ghana Gas. Ghana Gas. Ghana Gas. Wow. Wow. We've been to Wasach and Pim. Um, we, we, we cut across. Kumasi. Water region. Water region. Tema. We cut across. <laughs> yeah. we so all now Takrade, Takrade is more or less like moving from our bedroom to our hall. And then Accra wow. from moving from our hall to our kitchen. So we're driving in and out all the time. I know. You don't yeah. sleep. No. Yeah, you don't sleep. No. And you know... You know, this is outside the box, but I remember you saying that you were looking for people to train and it was difficult. Talk about the Cape Coast attitude because, Charlie, you've hustled your way to hit a point where you know that, nah, we need hands. We need people to, to, to you know, help us. Because, and then sometimes the frustration setting. How are you dealing with that? Are you okay now or you're still finding yourself in that difficult situation? Um, if, if I would say something... I, I sometimes blame partly on our parents. Igueno, why be bit there? Say Uncle Skua, it is assumed into Mumbabra, but it's not like that. Nyango points to talent mobia. Za only mo book ne be on yazo what nensa. Za o one san se be on yazo with books. So we always thought that's why we open the chance for people to come and learn the trade with us. You understand because it's not always about book as we sit here i i, I always tell my twin brother if senyane back out of a carpenter that is where we are going to push our energy hmm. so it's quite difficult in, in cape coast here getting people to even train for free we did that for free and <laughs> it became a chaos a whole lot of things uh were you in the free sir? free free yeah. oh we, we even did that we did adverts on all that for free nobody came it was it was ladies nobody work. came we did for yeah. guys nobody came nobody came not a single soul guy hey yes but the ladies were the ones no you get ladies to come yeah you let you get you ladies to come around but too. you need more men to do your yes. job right because exactly. you know, exactly. so we tell people that like, that is order. not for women mm. is, it's, it's a, man, a man's job it's not for women because the sleepless nights because it's funny you know we have this mentality sometimes you're in school your results are not good like your grades are not good because you has a pump Exactly. Year to year. so you you get that you know that one moving with you that oh i'm around i'm but it's not classroom i mean yes it now what's the moon cost yeah a yi musma what's yes yeah dame now musma we is the band that is the Will notion we ever i remember move away from that years state? back um a doctor once asked me that do i think that mamre and i can feed myself and my family because she thinks she's a doctor so she doesn't see decor to be anything mm -hmm. I got hurt so quickly i had to hit her back by telling her that okay if i don't work one weekend i can make thousand cities multiply that by four is four thousand i just want to ask you how many people get four thousand cities in a month mm -hmm. there i saw her face changed then i walked out it's high time we let people know that entrepreneur is not about books mm -hmm. let me ask you a simple question how much do you pay for a straight dress when it's sewn for you hmm now it's varies so you don't want a touch of anything now you know women we are doing these i want and our rest. listeners to learn something today 
let's that's use a, a minimum s- or um, um, an average of 50 cities. If you are madam, okay, mm-hmm. this goes to everybody. If you are madam and you sew, okay, how many pieces of straight dress? Let's use straight dress. Don't let us go to cover and slate. Mm. How many pieces of straight dress can you sew a day? Pick your phone wherever you are. If you can sew three, if you can sew five, if you can sew two, multiply by the amount of money you will charge for the straight dress. Hmm. By the number of days you work in a week, by the month, and then compare that to someone who works on the corporate field and compare the two of you who is making money. We hardly do that. Yes. If you dare, um, if yeah, that one doesn't come directly today, oh, you've been credited in your account. They say, your account. Uh, moja. When they say Sikaya Moja, how do we understand by Sikaya Moja? Because our requirement will pay at the end of the month. It's already spent. Oh yes. But end the many fifty cities or ten many fifty. That is the money. Yeah. That is the blood which is flowing me day in and day out. Yeah. So I can fall on something when there is emergency. Not to fall on something at the end, at of, the the end month. of the month. And this is real talk. I love the way you're being genuine to people. If you have that attitude about work and what somebody does, that is a mistake in the first place. You better think again. Um, uh, it's amazing how far we've come in this conversation. Uh, and so, uh, I know you people are very connected, like, because of the work you do. You're getting first hand calls from, you know, very important personalities. Oh, this is this, this is that. Uh, would you want to share with us that story? <laughs> oh, yes. <Yeah. laughs> As a motivation to people. From, oh, from, from the say, castle. Ah. Yeah, I know. Straight, straight from the I know. president's office. I know. Um, yeah. I mean... We, the minister not. for information is <laughs> yes. your buddy i know i know see it's now so you know man was a flower is put in front of work and when you're in a town and what's asking someone you don't want to take somebody serious for the work you don't want to take somebody serious for the work he's doing someone calls himself doctor mm-hmm. this, so we also call ourselves fabricologist <laughs> 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 that's so much too. and you to know talk, um through talk this about. job that um professor dora former pro vice chancellor of ucc i know she's your mom yeah she's our mom by all standards and we got to know her through this job yeah wow. it was, this job. was it last year we met in her office we went to yes. surprise her yes. and exactly. you had done yeah. a beautiful decor in her office yes. just before she she left yeah that was yeah. last two years last that last two years, years. yeah and if you are watching us on Facebook, there's a photo of the two, you know, they went for this award and they went to show it to their mom. How fulfilling is this one? Like, talk about your achievements, that award you've won so far. Not only in Cape Coast, but outside Cape Coast. Okay, so we, we won the award for uh, the best event vendor for Central Region. Mm. That is, we've won that award for three consecutive, consecutive times. Consecutive times. And so now we are now on the Hall of Fame, so we don't go for awards anymore. <laughs> We also won the Osar Berma Royal Awards. Royal how, how, how does that feel? Like the Oman Hin himself saying that, Charlie. But you do Imagine. a lot of events for the Oman Hin. That is it. Exactly. Imagine so being fulfilling. recognized by the whole Oman Hin. Exactly. You understand? And then um, being recognized by the whole Ghana and beyond. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you go to every place and it's all about nap 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 It feels very great. And we thank everybody. It's not just our doing. Are you making time for the family? Because oh, yeah. you are too busy. You're always on the go. Uh, like the I, I kids. They, they do understand. And my sisters. They do understand. <laughs> they do, they do understand. understand. They, they do understand. Um, we do we, we thank God for the kind of women we actually we might, got married to. Mm. We thank God for we thank God for them. Because um they understand what we do. Unlike others would be um fighting here and there. I saw you with this lady. I saw someone called me that there's But you're always with ladies who yes. because oh, yeah. when it comes to weddings and uh, yes. women in up like my color your blue and green. So how are you mixing the colours? Did you learn anything about color blends and all? Because I know it comes with a job. Yeah. Okay. So with this one, at times I only tell them that just tell me your colours and we know how to blend them. You know, with others they will tell you i want this particular color at this side i want this but then with us i will just tell you to just give us the colors so when we get there we'll know whether this color will overshadow this or this color wouldn't blend well Mm. so we need to tone this one down or anything that's what we do so most of times major decisions are taken when we get to the field i see yeah because color blending is very very important when it gets to events People don't know, so we have the loud colors and then the mild colors. You can't hit two loud colors for a program. And it depends on even the venue, whether outdoor or indoor. indoor. Hmm. 
So sometimes we ask these questions and people get fed up and they don't come again. But we are okay because <laughs> we need to know whether your program is indoor or outdoor. The kind of items. I mean, that you've gotten to a point in your work, your journey, that um, sometimes uh, okay, a bar, we are fine, and I'm bar, we are fine. Is no, that the case? No, no, no. no. We, work <laughs> we work for everybody. We work for everybody. We have like this. That. We have this word. We we still we are still growing up with. We don't give small, a small money, money chance. Mm. We don't give small money a chance. Mm. People think we are expensive, but those who have had experience with us always say, "Oh, really." They come to us and we're like, oh, what I heard outside is different from what I'm experiencing here. Mm -hmm. Because pay your budget, we work for you. Okay, so that's yeah. always the secret. Yes, sure. pay your budget, we work for you. It's just that sometimes we, okay, this, this is what you want. Your money can't afford that. Oh, Kakra, you pay us in this guy. They mean and call pay. What can we do? Mm. From our own world, yes, sometimes we do. We help. You won't believe we do 100% free jobs. With our own fuel, everything off. Aww. Just yeah. to make sure someone puts smiles on their face. Hmm. Interesting. I'm short of words to ask uh, Pingin and Kakra Ajikum. And they are, you know, the powerful duo. They make up knock knock events. And uh, I always say that they are putting Kipkos on the map. You're talking about events, people who do decor that, you know, when you chance on that, it just it just takes you to the moon and back. It is knock knock event here in Cape Coast. We have something coming up with you. Yes. I mean, Asasi Radio's uh, Central Region Business Excellence Awards will soon come on, and I know that we've been working. We are partners, so yeah. soon you'll be doing that for us. But let's talk. So, how long has been the journey, the knock knock journey? I think um, <clears throat> there the Kakra made mention of the Tonaton. Mm -hmm. So we we're working for Tonaton. I went to Tonaton first, mm -hmm. and then I had to pull Kakra in. Uh, my reason of even pulling Kakra to Tonaton, I found myself working on a corporate world, and how we were being treated by our bosses. I had the ones who were very harsh to me. I had the ones who were very good to me. So I really wanted my twin brother also to have that experience, and. In his own world, I think the only two places, one is the national service mm -hmm. and the only corporate he found himself was the Tonaton. And eventually we resigned same day to concentrate solely hmm. on our business. Uh, so since then and now, what's the year? What's the interval? Uh, from 2014. 2014. Oh, okay. 2014. But the decor whole business started in tw uh, um, uh, 2000. Hmm. So we picked up 206. And then, yes, from 2014, we decided to put everything aside and then strictly go into the decor full time full time, full time. yes i'm proud of you thank, thank you. you super proud of you thank would you. you say that this is the biggest decision you have ever made in your life yes I was, I was, I was thinking yes. alike as brothers doing things together how does it feel like do you hurt yourself sometimes we fight on the job we fight uh -huh. we argue we argue <laughs> we argue we argue <laughs> Those who know us know we argue, <laughs> and uh, there, there's this thing. You see, bonding has actually brought us thus far. The love we share. Um, I think it was just last month I was telling Kaka that it's been quite long since we had a hot argument. Because ah, into one fancy shadow. Yes, yeah, fancy shadow, Because we realize that now we put love first before even. I mean, looking at why would you put love? You, you're a brother. Yeah, at first, at first, it was easy for me to. Um, look at his mistakes, judge him quickly, mm -hmm. than even um, getting to know the story. Likewise, the same thing to me. But I realize that no, even if you put the mistake first, accuse the person, um, judge the person, you will still go back to the same office, you will share the same thing, everything is the same, and all that. So why don't you put love first and then go talk to him, get to know the detail before you can judge? So by doing that, yeah, it has really helped. I see. Hmm. Laugh first. Uh, anyway, I'll soon be going on uh, social media to read some of the messages that uh, has come in uh, because it's a special interview commemorating your fourth year birthday on this one. Here's a special message from Zenobia. Ah. <laughs> and she says, please wish them a happy birthday for me. They have been a blessing to me. I honor them and may God bless them for me. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Mm. And uh, this one is from Tony Montana. You know Tony, our yeah. very friend has sent it back. <laughs> I mentioned he his says name that, uh, 
Hey, Juba, they are lying. No, tell them Tony says they are lying. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, hope to see you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be going on our Sassy, uh, you know, platform to read some of the messages. But it's interesting how far we've come in this, uh, uh, this you know, talk. So we'll, we'll be wrapping up very soon. Uh, apart from Deco, are you doing any other business? Oh, your 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 full love is into Deco now. Okay, so apart from Deco, we hope to go back into farming again very soon. Oh. Of which, yeah, we've started one or two things. So we'll go back into the poultry farm. We'll try with cattle and all that. So Eish. we love farming. We love we farming. Love, we are farmers. Will you have time to do farming? Or sure. you yes. want to employ yes. people? We'll do. We'll do. Will you we have used, the we time? We used to have um, cattle. Catfish. Catfish. And then we recently did catfish farm. Oh, yes. dear. I heard about a catfish thing coming up, but I never followed up with you. Yeah, we had, we <laughs> had, we had catfish. Had, we had catfish. I see. And then we, we had a kennel in UCC where we had the bulldog, we have the uh, the boabos and all that. Yeah. What makes you happy? Uh, seeing my twin happy, I'm okay. Seeing oh. others happy, we are okay. I see. Yeah. Kaka, is the same for you? Yeah. Interesting. This is why he has confused me. Believe, um, he's the first person I chat when I wake up. He's the last person I chat before I sleep. Do do you, do your wives get jealous sometimes? You know, like you're so dedicated to your brother, they are looking for I you. I think they no? do, but <laughs> they can't complain. <laughs> so for now, they are also moving like twins. Oh, yes, we've yeah. paired them to be like twins. It's your birthday. What will be the song you want to listen to this morning? Index. We need to play them their favorite song. What song would you want to listen to this this morning? Where do you worship in Cape Coast? Ah, oh, we are Catholics by birth. Oh, you are Catholics. Yeah, yeah. I'm Catholics by birth. I see. I worship at my Queen of Peace. Oh, so they are staunch Catholics. Yeah. Did you ever serve? Uh, we never had opportunity. <laughs> <to> <laughs> but we were mission boys. You know, mission we were boys. Mission we started our poultry farm at the mission house. At the mission house. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we lived with the Roman fathers and all that. We but you never had a desire to, to, we, we to, to actually, become We actually priest. wanted to become, but uh, realized that uh, we didn't have fat. And fat. <laughs> <laughs> I love your, how genuine you feel with this one. <laughs> I see. So, if we had to play your favorite song, what would it be? Ebenezer. Ebenezer? Yeah. Oh, Manyami Yena Bedrini. Yes. Sure. I see. You're taking us to, to the choir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want us to wrap up on this conversation. I mean, Kepkos is proud of you. Uh, matter of fact, this morning, Asasi Radio said, no, Nap Nap is celebrating 40 years. I mean, they are doing their best for Kipkus. Why not bring them here to know the Nap Nap story and celebrate them? Any big events coming up and then in wrapping up, what will be your message to somebody doing the listening, uh, listening to us on Asasi Radio? Let me do opinion first and come to Kaka. Sure. Thank you. Um, Greetings back to your listeners. I uh, would like to, especially my goes to the youth, that to whatever they find themselves doing, they should give it time. They should give more energy, invest in it, and have faith that things will change for them. Hmm. Kakara. Okay, so what I'll tell the, my listeners, or as I say listeners, is that, uh, and to the youth of Cape Coast, is that um, I always have this saying um when we're in shs our headmaster told us he said brighten the corner where you where are, you are. Um, we can work here in cape coast and we can make cape coast proud whatever that can be achieved outside cape coast can be achieved here in cape coast hmm. because it has been tried tested and proven by yes. nap nap events yes, but i would like to also say something mm. uh, people keep on asking why don't you go to accra why don't you go and stay in accra uh, we used to stay in accra but we decided to come back to cape coast the reason being that there is nothing to develop in a developed country mm. but there are more to develop in a developing country so we amazing to come back to cape coast. that'll be that'll be my last words there's nothing to develop in a, in developed, a developed country, country but, but there is more to develop, to develop in, a in a developing country, country. yes wow so that's we a food cape for coast thought it's a developing city mm. and coming back to cape coast there are more that we can do there are more opportunities it's a special message from bagwan amati he says kindly wish them a happy birthday for me uh, as they continue to be a blessing to humanity Thank you, Mr. Martin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, so it's been great hanging out with Nanaji Kumpingin and Nanaji Kumkakra. Uh, they are CEOs for Napnak events. That's their specialty, Deco. And uh, that's about it. I appreciate your time. In as much as it was a short notice, you made it. I am proud of you. As I say, it's proud of you. Cape Coast is proud of you. I wish you a great day. Happy birthday to you. Any birthday plans? Can people join you for some ponding or? Uh, for the ponding, we are pleading. We are pleading. We are still pleading, <laughs> especially to that boy called Jungo. That boy. <laughs> we are still pleading. Uh, from here, we actually we decide to uh, do a little donation at the Children's Water Teaching Hospital. Oh, wow. And then also uh, say hello to those who were born on the 19th of October, October. today. Oh, Give them great, some small parcels. Great, great, great. And then uh, we are hoping... Um, by the close of December, we had a plans with those who celebrated 40 years this year to drill a borehole for the mental challenge people at Ankafo. Let's give it up for them. I mean, you should clap for yourselves this morning. <laughs> you want to drill a borehole for Ankafo? They need it. Yes. God bless you. God bless and I wish you too. a happy birthday. Thank you Thank so you. much. Okay, so we'll be back. Please stay on. We'll play them their favorite song, Ebenezer. Index, are we good to go? Okay. Assassin Radio. Go, 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 go.